Hello my dear friends, this is Painty Cat and uh, today we're going to paint uh, spring crocus flowers in really easy way. I really like this kind of flowers because of color and of course because uh, it's uh, one of the first flowers we can see in uh, parks around. As first step uh, I'm making a layer of white with um, uh, lots of water in it. It uh, has to be really thin. And um, next step I'm going to use a sponge. Um, usually I'm buying sponges set of four and um, I need today the smallest one from there. It's around one centimeter. Uh, I'm mixing white, cobalt blue and uh, ultramarine and just a tiny bit of black and look we're going to stamp a lots of just simple stamps it's a round shaped please mix uh, bluish and white uh, color together stamp it everywhere we need deeper shaded area in the center and lighter areas far close to paper edges. It's kind of easy work and uh, just, you know, feel free yourself, mix any uh, shades you like and stamp it, relax, enjoy. We now creating spring snow. Imagine when you try to make a photo shot of uh, crocus flowers um, in the nature in the park, for example, we usually have flowers very nice focused in the center of picture, but snow around usually unfocused and uh, can have visible circles. You can check uh, lots of photos in the internet with this effect and uh, that's what we are now doing. Usually, when uh, we painting flowers, it's hard to create a really interesting background, especially when it's no background, actually, no interesting background around first flowers. There is only black earth and snow. Snow, it's what we just did, and uh, I'm going to create smaller size sponge. I'm going to use a Nurofen uh, syringe, probably it's calling like that in English, so um, I'm just using inner part. There is a hole inside and uh, it's very um, nice to use in any DIU uh, works. Uh, for me it's uh, working as a holding pan for small sponges very nice and uh, at the moment I mixed black and uh, umber brown together. Spring earth really wet and dark and it's always looking very contrasted with the uh, snow and this effect what we want at the moment. We want a contrast between earth and a snow. So, for better contrast, I'm using a natural bristol brush. It's very rough and I'm stamping again. I'm not painting really, I'm just stamping white on a paper. And I'm doing it in areas very close to earth. Next step, I'm going to create a green leaves, crocus flowers have a very short, very straight, dark leaves. I'm mixing dark green plus white plus a little bit of yellow. And I'm using flat brush, slanted brush. And uh, I recommend not mix colors completely on your palette. Mix it not really well, you know, take some of blue, some of white and just paint very long strokes. We're going to paint groups of flowers 
So uh, it's not a fence, right? We're not painting a fence. Um, nature have a lot, a lot of different um, shapes. Uh, so try to create different sizes of leaves. It's very important when uh, we're painting natural shapes. Next step, I'm going to use another type of brush. It's a flat, uh, round shaped, and this is a big size. It's important because each stroke now will mean one petal. If you don't have brushes like this, I really recommend to you to think about to get it, uh, especially if you like to paint flowers, because look how easy to create flowers just with one stroke. I'm mixing, again, not completely, colors on my palette. It's a um, violet shade and white together. And a little bit of white. Tap it on a palette. And look, there is different shades on my brush at the moment. And just make a long stroke, one stroke. Don't correct it after. Just make it long and that's it. When you're starting petal, start with a flat brush and make it round, turn it round on the edge. So petal will be flat and big at start and very thin in the end. Yes, of course, you have to, you know, to have a little practice, but, well, all painting is just a question of practice, right? Next step, uh, now we created first uh, layer of petals. These petals far from us. Let's say it's more far than others we're going to create later. And now uh, it's time to correct something uh, very nice to correct with white and uh, thin brown brush. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you did just a tiny mistake, at this step you can correct it. You can uh, create uh, white ends on um, petals if you like to. Personally, I like. So, uh, you can see now I'm creating uh, some small white stripes around, not on every petal. Again, it's not a fence, uh, it's natural shape, so each petals are different. Some can have this white ends, some don't. And very handy if uh, you will take uh, short breaks and make one two steps back and check from the distance if your flowers looking realistic natural if some tiny mistakes visible or maybe it's visible only from short distance if it's so don't correct we now working only with main shapes now I'm painting second layer of petals and again just the same way of painting we're starting from flat brush and turning turning on the edge with each move very easy, isn't it? It's very important to have a proper shaped brushes, especially if we're painting uh, flowers. That's it. This layer of petals done with the big brush. And again, another step. It's a correction layer. That's mean. I'm painting some edges some uh, tiny details, maybe a little corrections if I need to. At the moment we're only working uh, on petals and flowers. Don't paint any stems at the moment. Actually, you can notice 
At this flower I already have a stem, but it's not so, it's, uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's just looking so. Uh, color of stem we're gonna mix uh, very dark. Uh, now I'm working with the petals and uh, you can see now I'm only using almost just white. It's mixing a little bit, just uh, right on my paper. That's why color of shade looking a bit uh, pinkish. Uh, but uh, mostly, again, from my palette I'm taking just clear white. This sharp edge very light, very wide and area under it have to be darker. So I'm correcting a color. Um, about stamps, it's a very interesting question if we're talking about uh, crocus flowers because stems they're very short, sometimes it's one or two centimeters only and it's mixing, it's a mix of uh, violet, green and a little bit of black. On some photos uh, you can check in the internet, you can find uh, even violet stems. And uh, just make sure you're painting stem from each flower. Now I'm painting stem on this uh, flower, on the um, left side of my painting. And from this one, I didn't complete this flower yet. And under this one, this is uh, the last flower. Now. I'm going to get back uh, to my petals, working with white again. It's just a tiny details, but look um, how much difference it's making. This uh, white details around each, almost each petals. Just around, very thin. I'm going to make uh, some petal darker on the uh, right side of uh, this flower. And this is the last crocus. I didn't complete it yet. So I'm just using a little bit of violet to complete it. As you can see, uh, very, very important to have just a proper brushes. That's it. Uh, some green leaves can uh, grow closer to us, so it's crossing flowers. And uh, after main shapes of flowers are done, we completing uh, our green leaves. It can cross over some flowers, like this. Don't create too many greens because uh, most important here it's the flowers, right? Uh, very important and fresh details on uh, our crocus uh, flowers, it's uh, stamens. Crocus have a very uh, light yellow. I recommend to mix it with white for better coverage, of course, because um, we have a dark shaded violet under it. Not everywhere just a little bit and I really recommend to you uh, to use ochre also again just a tiny details and just a little bit of brown very very deep just one or two dots not many again very fresh details <laughs> the stamens our flowers are done, so all we have to do is complete a snow on a foreground. Again, I'm using a rough brush with a natural bristle, working again with a stamp technique, not painting with the strokes, just stamping 
uh, in my opinion, very important to think how you're gonna to um, transmit the sense of material when we're painting petals. It's so smooth, it's silky, so our brush strokes are long and um, it's giving better sense of flower petals in the end. But uh, when we're talking about snow, it's uh, frozen, it's a crystal, so uh, strokes here can't be long. Uh, well, I'm just uh, using more white on the uh, foreground and a little bit of more clear blue. Uh, on the background part from the start we used uh, a bit of black uh, in a mix of shade, but now it's just white and a cobalt blue. And as you can notice, layers of snow on the foreground, it's um, horizontal, almost like a stripes. Uh, it's, in my view, it's giving better feeling of um, foreground area where my uh, crocus flowers uh, growing. And uh, that's it. My dear friends, it's a very short painting and uh, I just hope you enjoy it. You can find sketch on my Patreon, all links uh, are down below. Also you can find uh, the links for brushes I recommend for this kind of paintings and uh, that's it. I wish you all the best!